making some carbon fiber plate tonight. I've got uh, five layers of uh, five ounce carbon fiber laid perpendicular each layer for maximum strength. We are all set up here on the shop table. My phone is now refusing to focus. There we go. So this is the easiest way to do this because you're on a nice flat surface and you're not bagging both sides of it. So we'll uh, let's turn this guy on. You look so good, baby. Do you think I look good today? Oh yeah, that really turned it on. Drew it right down. So on top of the carbon fiber, which I epoxied uh, fairly liberally, uh, we've got this pink layer, which is a perforated uh, uh, peel ply, then a release film, then breather. Breather, its only job is to allow air to go through it, so you get a vacuum across the entire surface, so you can see that it went pretty big with that, and then I did another double layer on here just to make sure that we had absolutely nothing getting in the way of the air getting drawn out of this bad boy. That's it. Now we just wait. So we've been under full vacuum here for just a minute or so and you can see all the little spots where the epoxy is coming up through the all the layers and the, uh, the breather fabric will absorb it. That's really nice. See, I got a little bit liberal. This is the shadow. I've got lights all over the place. I got that guy and all these LEDs. And then that guy. A lot of light going on. Uh, so this epoxy is very slow setting use very slow setting for vacuum bagging and uh, so it's going to take a couple hours for it to really set up. Um, if you have a really good vacuum bagging system going on and no leaks whatsoever, you don't have to run the pump the entire time. Uh, I'm going to run the pump the entire time because screw it. Alright, we are the next day. I had some uh, extra resin, so I pounded a ratchet into this block of clay and just poured it in. Nice and hard. I'll be interested to see how that comes out. As you can see, the resin dries with a very slight yellow tinge. So uh, let's unbag this bad boy. Take this out. As usual, doing everything with one hand is super handy and easy. It's like Christmas. Um, if you don't rip this stuff, you can keep reusing it. So keep that in mind. And here we have the breather, which has absorbed a decent amount of resin. It's a little bit more solid feeling than it would be. Here's the peel ply. Or uh, release film. Here's the peel ply. This is, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but it's perforated so the resin will pass through it. See a little disco going in there? So, the LED light. Oh yeah. So before the neighbor interruption, still has to cure off a little bit. But as you can see, maybe you can't focus you fuck. Surface finish is pretty nice. I still I haven't wa washed the wax off yet, but. I'll take that. Stuck to the double-sided tape here. Uh, so it needs to uh, harden just a little bit more because it's a little cool in the shop. Trim up the edges and she's ready. Easy peasy lemon squeezy.
If anybody tells you carbon fiber is hard, they're only half right. Don't be afraid to try this shit.